Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike. It is Wednesday, the 27th of November. This is our weekly recap. Weekly, because I'm done for the week. First things first, guys, to everybody out there, a very happy Thanksgiving to you and yours. Spend time with your family. Enjoy. The markets are closed tomorrow on Thursday. It's a half day in the markets on Friday. I take that off. I spend time with my family. I relax. I recharge the batteries. Put charts up on Sundays, and we'll attack everything on Monday. Here we are today, a very low volume, grindy day. The market's just been grinding higher. New all time highs on the SPY, on the Qs, and the IWM even joined the party. You can see this just great move up here, just constantly pushing, pushing, pushing without getting too heated. We talked this morning about, you know, if you wanted to try things, don't get silly, stay, you know, stay cute. Well, you know, things were not so easy this morning. The gap up, Microsoft gapped up, and you can see Microsoft here came in. You can see here quickly. You know, gave you a quick out if you were really quick, but after that push up came back in. We saw Roku with a big gap up. It actually pushed a little bit before it too reversed and has now got a massive reversal candle on the day on decent volume. Okay, so we're seeing a little bit of stuff here. Facebook finally decided to wake up today. It took off and went. A lot of call buying out in the December uh, 6, 205 to December 13, 207, 50s to January 210s. It was started at Thousands of those came in quickly, and that's what started this push. Finally goes, after hurting me this week, that was my loss for the week. That hurt, you know, when I took. It didn't go. We talked about Home Depot. Home Depot dipped hard on the open, then went back. They came after it, and here it is into the eight day. They have an analyst day next week. Keep an eye on that one. Baba gave continuation up to 201 now. Strong move. Not chasing this thing up here. Look how far out of the Bollinger Bands it is at this point. Square is playing with this gap area. It's got a big gap to fill that starts right around this little over the 70 area. About For me, it's about 70, 76. You can see how it's slowly curling its way into there. This looks good as well. Even Apple continues to hold in. So bottom line is a lot of names continue to act well. They're rotating, uh, looking for different things to buy. The one thing to watch out for as we go into early next week is Trump has is running out of time on what he's going to do with the Hong Kong bill that the Congress has put in front of them. He either has to sign it or veto it. That could have an effect upon China phase one, or it could be part of the negotiation process. We don't know, but we do know that uh, I think he has Monday or Tuesday, he has to sign the, or veto the bill. So that will be coming to a head in the early part of next week. Till then, enjoy. There was a little things to do. The market acted well. Today I traded one thing. I traded IQ, made some money on it, got stopped out for a gain. Twitter continues to act well as it pushes towards that gap area. That would be my next target if it wants to keep going. We'll talk about that. Visa had call buyers the last two weeks, finally broke above this range today. Look at that takeout today. Nice move there. So there were definitely things to do if you're paying attention. I tried to call some of those out to my subscribers. So everybody's not, feel free to check me out. Have a wonderful, happy weekend. Four-day weekend for me. Enjoy your Thanksgiving, everybody. And I'll catch you guys all next week.